Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem building roads taken from CSES from graph algorithm section. So the problem is quite easy. Uh, it will teach you, uh, I'll tell you in a moment. So the problem statement is basically you are given a graph n cities and m roads basically n nodes and m and, and m edges, right? So you have to find how many new roads you need to add basically how many new edges you need to add minimum number of edges such that the, the whole graph is actually connected okay for example this is the example test case so as you can see the graph for now is not actually connected so what you can do you can connect any node from this connected component to any node to this connected component right for example you can add an edge one three and the whole graph will be connected so th this is the problem statement you have to print how many edges you have to add and then you also have to print those edges so this is the problem statement so what are the prerequisites for this problem uh, you need to have the knowledge of how to apply bfs or uh, sorry dfs or bfs anything so you can learn it here i have graph theory part one from graph theory part one you can learn lecture two and lecture three that should do the trick so you need to have the knowledge of either bfs or dfs and how to count connected component because uh, if you see here the solution uh, you can use either bfs or dfs to count the total number of connected components and if there are p number of connected components the answer will be p minus one just think about it for example if this was the whole graph you can see the total number of connected components here we have are four so you only need to add three edges right so count the total number of connected component print p minus one if p is the number of connected component for example this is the uh, problem statement and then you are printing how many edges you need to add and then you also need to print those edges so i'll solve this problem first of all count the number of connected components and of course the first output will be number of connected components minus one right so in this case it will be three now when you are counted connected component so let me just show you the code so here is my graph and then visited array this i am using dfs uh, which i have already explained right in lecture two so uh we are reading i mean here we are reading input and creating the graph after that this is the part which counts the total number of connected component i've taken a vi which is vector of int okay v is defined as vector of int so basically i'll be storing all of the edges sorry all of the nodes starting nodes of a of uh, of a connected component so for example you will learn uh, uh you will run a for loop from one to n if the ith node is not visited you will make a dfs call to that basically that will find you a new connected component for example you will start from one and you'd make a dfs call to node one this whole connected component will get visited right node one and node five will get visited so what was the node on which you made a dfs call node one so insert node one here so from each connected component i'll store one node so that i can connect both of them and now i have an edge so now i becomes two two is not visited so i'll make a dfs called here this whole connected component will get visited right i becomes three will i make dfs call to three no three is already visited right so that's why uh, from this i'll store two from the sorry from this connected component i have stored one from this connected component i'll store two from this connected component i'll stay, uh, store four from this connected component i'm storing nine and two when i'm going to print all of the edges i can print one two two four and four nine and that will be my answer that's exactly what i'm doing here if i is not visited that means we have not visited the connected component in which our node i lies right so i'd make a dfs call to that and i am also inserting that pb is pushback basically inserting i into my uh, result uh vector right after that printing the size minus one that will be the total number of connected components minus one and then uh, i have stored like uh, one two four and nine so i'm printing one two Two, four and four nine that is a, that is what is happening here so this way you'll solve this problem i'll be providing the uh this code in the description of the video so you can go ahead and uh use it as a reference so yeah this is how you solve this problem so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank mm -hmm. you